Hello, welcome to the crafting table. We're back here with Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, the hard Moon Elf Necromancer playthrough. And we are about to go into Mordok's Sanctuary. I'm just going to save it one more time to be sure. And this is where Karn leaves us. It seems this is as far as I'm going tonight. I will remain here so that you can move on. I can't say that it hasn't been interesting working with you, adventurer. We'll have to meet again someday. Alright, Keep of Pale Knight, level 3. Welcome, friend, to my home. Please forgive my servants below for giving you such trouble. They can be an unruly lot, I know. Enough talk, Mordok. Must it come to blows, then? Are you so naive, thinking this all some storybook cliché? That with me defeated, all will be right with the world. Bend the knee, serve me, and know what it is to live life eternal. Never! I should have known. You have a stubborn look about you. So let it never be said that I was cruel or without chivalry. I offered you my hand, and you spurned it. Mortal of your god. Alright, here we go. This ought to be interesting. Let's see. Uh, let's get our shadow. I don't... Crazy. Oh, wow. Man, he just... He hits like a truck. I'm gonna have to figure something out. <laughs> okay, we need to keep that up for sure. Enervation, maybe? Enfeeblement? I don't know. It's gonna be rough. Take care of these these guys first. Yeah, getting caught in that is not helpful. There we go. Got one down. Got the other down.
Almost good. The defeated vampire turns into mist and flees. Plane of shadow. My lord, your allies are not yet prepared. Now is not the time to question me, Thrall. An army of 40,000 undead soldiers will allow us to hold the city until our allies can mobilize. Besides, what would any army sent against us do? Besiege the city? <laughs> our troops will not need to eat, sleep, or fear disease. No, Zanhast. Meddling fools may have forced my hand early, but they have not beaten me. Let us go. As you command. Run, man! Mordok's Gate 1. Ooh boy, here we go. We are on the home stretch. Ha. Praise Waki and Helm and Lathander and Torm and any other god who care to take credit. You've returned. What's happened here? I, it's, it's, I don't know, but it's a disaster, that's for certain. I was riding back up the road from Berenos when I saw a great black tower just appear in the middle of the city and send out a great ring of black lightning. Black lightning. The city gates were open when I arrived. It's as if, as if everyone has been turned into a mass of maddened cannibals. It must be that accursed tower. I'm grateful as all the hells I wasn't here when it arrived. It's the Onyx Tower, once Eldrith's, and now Mordok's. He must be behind this. So, what are you going to do? I'll defeat Mordok and put an end to this chaos. Whoops. Have a look at what I have to offer. Perhaps there's something here that you could use in your last battle. Baldur's Gate is a zombie-infested ruin and you went to haggle? I am a merchant by trade, after all. <coughs> I'm sure as gold glitters that you'll succeed. So there's no sense in giving away my best equipment for nothing. Uh, you will succeed, won't you? <laughs> Alright, let's sell him... Some more stuff. We're gonna hold on to all those potions. We're gonna need them. Seeing as how that last battle went. Now, I don't think he has anything of great interest to us. Yeah, probably not. And we have the amulets and everything that we need. Uh, let's see... Let's see what we got here. Oh, those are all ruined already. Oh, I interrupted him. <laughs> that's that's fine. We'll just get going. All right. So we better save it. Gets pretty gnarly up ahead. Oh, whoops! I forgot. Hey, you do. Hold on. There you go, buddy. There. Where's our crazy lightning spell thing? There it is. I think we're attacking so fast that it it can't register yeah look <laughs> we attack so fast that it can't register all of it all at once
All right, let's check over here. Looks like it looks like everything's blocked up to a certain point. Oh, he has no arms, so he can't do anything to us. Actually, this would be perfect for... There it is. It looks like Omdul's manor is on fire. Hopefully he can put it out. It's, uh... <laughs> Joaquin, be praised. You've returned. I thought the city was lost, but perhaps... Perhaps you can stop it. What's happened? Is it Mordok? I don't know. The Onyx Tower. It suddenly appeared. People began to die, and then rise again. Come. I can lead you to the base of the tower. Let's go. You look different. <laughs> I mean, could you look any more evil? I mean, plus you could see the bites on the side of her neck. My master's tower. Xanast made me his, just as I'll now make you mine. Come. I promise it won't hurt. Badly. Never! Mess her up. Jeez. No mana required, or no energy potions required, man. Give me the hunger. <clears throat> it was too much. Xanast is in the Onyx Tower, guarding his Lord Mordok. You must destroy the Pale Knight and his tower once and for all. You must save Baldur's Gate. Please, hurry. Tower one, here we go. It's ought to get very interesting. Alright, where is... there it is. I think these are some of those enemies that they just don't... they don't care about your minion.
Man, haste is crazy. You just, you just, you're just flying. Okay, so you can't take these guys over. Definitely, they're they're automatons. So that makes sense. Chesties. Didn't even know what I picked up, honestly. Some sort of scimitar. I don't think I'm hitting anything. Wow. I'm even formidable in melee now, kinda. I need to... I need to see if there's any sort of... thing that helps with that. With this, like, attack speed and such. Maybe it's just based off of whatever weapon I happen to have equipped. Oh, the shadow shield actually blocks the the gas attack as well. That's pretty neat. Right, let's go ahead and save it. Onyx Tower level two. Let's do it. We need our helper. Where he at? There he is.
some fast-paced stuff happening. Uh, anything to pick up in here? No, doesn't look like it. Just some gold. Although that's gonna be useless soon. See, we're just blazing through this right now. level up before facing off against Mor Mordok. I mean, those things down go down pretty pretty simply enough. I'm actually even hitting him right there. Flawless shortbow of disruption. Grand staff of corruption. Is what that said. I should maybe put one of my touch spells because dark possession is kind of useless at this point. Maybe put vampiric touch right there. But I don't know if that's going to actually work on any of the enemies in this place. So we can find out. Oh. That leads to the end. Oh, it blocked. And I think it might get empowered by the Claws of Darkness that I have. Oh, yeah. does. Uh, what a beast pickup. This thing, that thing, some acid damage things. Okay, let's get back to Melf's acid arrow here. Well, it looks like you do get health back from the automatons somehow. Honestly, have no idea how you would get health back from an automaton. Pretty sure they're just otherwise inanimate objects. Alright, finished off this level. I think, what was this, two? We're on level three. Or we were in the basement. This is level one. This is level two. No, it's level three. Oh man, this is no good.
get out of there. <laughs> Run for it, dude. I don't know if I'm hitting anybody, but just rounds down range. Do it. Taking hits, taking lots of hits. Oh, one's down. I forget, am I playing Baldur's Gate or a bullet hell game? entrance. Okay, now we can save it. Right, get that shield back up. That thing probably saved my, my backside many a time already. I think the touch spells are based off your chance to hit. Could be wrong. The only problem with Melf's Acid Arrow is that if my minion is right there, he just... it won't go past him. think of a different spell I could use because shadow spray seems to do nothing here which is weird uh, they seem to just either be entirely immune to it or maybe it's just a problem with the game itself I I've never played this far with the necromancer so I can't say for certain and I haven't really looked that up maybe I should it has to do with the animation of the spell or something uh, now it's working. It wasn't work. Oh my goodness. Man, he knew exactly when to freaking attack. See, Shadow Spray is all well and good, but. Oh, where's Ray of Enfeeblement? gotten really strange towards the end. Some of my spells are working just as they should. Some are not. Come on. There we go. Or who knows, maybe it's all working exactly how it's supposed to. And a lot of my stuff is basically useless against these guys. Ok. 
Okay. Onyx Tower top, so this is, I believe, Xanhast. And we're going to be facing off against here. This is going to be rough. Where is... Okay, I don't need to go that far for Contra Shadow. I keep pressing the wrong way. All right, here we go. Huh. I was almost worried you wouldn't make it here. It would have robbed me of the joy of crushing you. I've slain far worse than you. Do your best. There you go. Taunt him. Taunt him some. Is that a power attack? I wonder if Shadow Spray would work. Oh yeah, there you go, buddy. Got him. Put a stake through his heart before he gets back up. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see. We've got Claws of Darkness all the way up. Enchant item would be nice to get final level of haste probably iron no uh, iron will is not really necessary shadow conjure would make him more powerful shadow shield would probably be better 15% chance to block yeah let's go shadow shield haste is only 5 points so we can get shadow conjure and haste we got two points left. What can we put it on? Not much else we can put it on, really. Um, how about... Not much else here to use it on, honestly. Let's go with... Uh, where was it? There it is. I'll just put it on Great Fortitude. I mean, it's not going to do much for us, but... Uh, how many potions do we have? Should probably go back. You can't recall from here. Cripes. Can I recall from here? There we go. Well, hopefully, uh, Xanahas stays dead. Back, what does your store have to offer? You, all right, just sell off all the stuff. I mean, it's not really going to make a difference. The only thing is, I'm kind of wanting to get kind of want to get just a crap ton of potions basically cuz this is the this is the last bit right here there's no more left whoop uh we don't really need a lot of those let's keep 10 all right there we go let's buy all the health potions possible Probably going to need a lot of them. Time is swiftly coming to an end right here. But... Yeah, we'll just... We'll finish out... Uh, we'll finish out the episode. 145 potions, that should be fine. <laughs> Alright, let's get back up there. That'd be funny if he was alive again. Alright, so we're going on to the Plane of Shadow. Meddlesome wretch, how can you be here? No matter, it is over. The tower's core is mine. I alone can draw on the power of the Onyx Heart. Now, bursting with the soul. Of 40,000 dead. You cannot possibly defeat me. You know, I probably should have saved it before coming up here. Where'd, where'd my Conjure Shadow go? There he is. I think you can attack this. 
I thought you could. Oh wait, no, not yet. Or Shadow Spray. His, his, uh, shadow is over there, not attacking. Mess him up. Got him. You have destroyed Mordok's Salamnir. Shatter the Onyx Heart to destroy the tower and free the citizens of Baldur's Gate from its curse. Okay. Let's save. Let's uh. Let's level up before the end of the game, shall we? Uh, let's yeah. Let's go with clarity there. Um. Hmm. Not really much else to do. Uh, I know we're moving on to extreme difficulty, but let's see. What should we throw points into? Not willpower. Shocking grasp, maybe. I don't know. We could do long weapon focus. All right, and then we can throw a bunch of points into life drain. So that'll be additional enemies and such. And we have two points left. Um, hand weapon focus, because we have a dagger from time to time, so. All right, that's the end of that. I owe you my life, adventurer, as do all the people of Baldur's Gate. You are truly a hero among heroes. Randala, you survived. I did because of you. Xanath's destruction saved my body, while the tower's destruction saved my soul. But come, before we celebrate, the Grand Dukes will want to meet their savior. Okay. It's funny, the faces of the crowd here, like, they are not very well rendered. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, I guess they're not important, so... Gambit has failed to give a rough eternity here. Baldur's Gate still stands strong. And what of Mordok, priest? Utterly destroyed Almighty Pharaoh in an attempt to hold the tower. His failure cannot be allowed to hamper my sacred mission. We will leave Mulherand and see to the matter ourselves. Raise the tomb soldiers and prepare my sun barge. As my god king demands. Alright, that's the end of that. Hard difficulty completed. Now we need to move on to... And this is all quiet right now because we had to shut the music off. But uh, now we move on to extreme difficulty on the next episode. And we're going to run through it on extreme with the same character, obviously. And we'll see what we... Uh, what we accomplish there. Hopefully it's not too hard. And, uh, yeah. You know what I really wish is that they would have moved on to a Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 3. One can hope that somebody out there will do it. Eventually. One of these days. Because, I don't know, pyramid, you know, Egyptian type theme would be really cool to go through with Baldur's Gate. Anywho. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me. Hopefully you had a good time, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, have a great night, everyone.